welcome back Catherine McPhee. <laughs> These are the official jeans of our I holiday guess, sweater party. I guess so. Yes, I wear them every year. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I see the, what you're saying. It's the only jean only that jean works with every sweater. Right, and doesn't get all the lint and all the stuff on it. Hi, How everyone. is David doing? He's he was fine. supposed to be here. I know he finally, he's out sick. Finally got the COVID. He uh, was avoided it this whole time. No. I had it two times. Wow. Um, but he's doing fine. Like, he, oh, he just got a little fluish for a day. Yeah. Okay. the COVID, where the COVID. do you put him? Yeah, where does he go? He, like, where does he um, go? He was going to go in the smaller back bedroom, but uh -huh. I was, I just, I just. You took the back. small back bedroom? I took the yeah. small back bedroom. Yeah. Like, that's that's nice. But you know what? He's doing great. So right. he's, okay, he's he wishes he could be here. And how's Rennie? He's Rennie's three great. years old already? Rennie is, well, no, yeah, he's going to be three. He's coming three in February, so he's okay. still a two-year-old. Right, he's still but, a two-year-old. And he's okay. a drummer? He's a little just, drum boy? Just drumming away. Just no loves, kidding. Loves to play the drums. We've had kids, when, but I remember... He's not I even mean, three yet. When he was yeah. a baby, he, we were telling people, like, God, it really seems like he loves to drum. And we thought, yeah, you know, maybe it's going to be a thing. I don't know. And now we realize this it's is a, a thing. thing. So, funny, Brandon um, Goldberg is going to be playing with me today because David obviously can't yeah. be here. And he's a 17-year-old amazing jazz pianist that David has been working with. And he loves to find David, loves to find yeah. new talent. Um, but it's very similar. Like, Brandon is this crazy, amazing savant. Like, when he was a little kid, he was playing at three years old. So I feel right. like Rennie may be following like in the that. footsteps. Maybe. Yeah, yeah it's so natural sure. to me. Yeah. Now, he's, he's not quite three. Does he understand the holidays? Does he know what he wants yet? He does. Uh, I don't think he understands. Like, we keep on saying, like, oh, what do you want from Santa? Santa. He's not quite understanding, like, <laughs> that he can ask something from Santa and maybe possibly receive it. Right. But he's loving. We did the Christmas decorations, the, the ornaments, and I it's was... It's so pretty and festive. What's not to like? So fun. Right? So fun. So he's loving that. So that's great news for me because next year that means he can help me do all of it. Yes. Um, and we're having a great time with the holidays. You know, Mark and I do not understand the TikTok, the TikTok <laughs> as we call it. I've been trying to submerse myself into it as of late. But David gets it. Like, he David gets, is a TikTok star. I help him as well. You do? So, yes. Yeah. He, I, it's crazy. Like, he's gotten all the, I think because people use TikTok to sing and, and show, showcase themselves to the world, and he is such an amazing person to um, be presented to, right? Like, I think right. these young singers get excited to be presented to someone like David, who discovers talent and has mm -hmm. throughout the years. So it's an exciting thing. So he's getting a lot of... Are they singing practice. his songs? They're singing his songs. Well, they're singing the song that I'm going to do today that David okay. wrote called My Grown Up Christmas List. Of course. That beautiful. My gosh, wrote beautiful. And, originally did it with Natalie Cole, but wrote and produced it. So a lot of people are singing that song for him, and it's just, like, blown up for him. So he's a little uh, TikTok. Besides star. yourself singing it, do you have a favorite rendition of that song? Amy Grant was the version that I heard, and I love the Amy Grant version. That's it's just... The one I'm most familiar with. I yes, think. I know. Yeah. It really became. And David's like, really? That's the one you knew? The one I didn't produce? I'm like, <laughs> 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 hey, listen, we're going to take a little break. When we come back, Catherine McPhee is going to perform the whole classic. <laughs> we are back with the lovely and talented Catherine McPhee. Her new holiday album with David Foster is out now. Here's Catherine McPhee with my grown up Christmas list. <laughs> See you. 
Betty Boop, the musical, opened yes. last week in Chicago. It's a rave. Boop, David's new show that's going to Broadway next year. Yeah, it was... Betty, it was is I, it called just Boop? It's just called Boop. 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 And I was there for opening night, and it was just beautiful. It was a, a wonderful show. I'm excited. Coming to New York. Coming to New York next year. Yeah, 2024. Very, very exciting. Well, thank you for doing this for us. Oh, we thank you for really having us. We really appreciate it. Christmas songs by Catherine McPhee and David Foster is available now. Thanks to Brandon Goldberg on the piano. Next, yeah, our holiday yeah. sweater fashion show. Stick around.